The Karate Kid franchise will experience its biggest year ever in 2024 thanks to the combination of Cobra Kai Season 6 and the new Karate Kid movie. The Karate Kid franchise will have its biggest year ever in 2024. The franchise originally began with a series of movies focused around Mr. Miyagi and Daniel LaRusso, but it has become much bigger in recent years. Largely thanks to the debut of Cobra Kai, the sequel series that continues the story of Daniel, Johnny Lawrence and more characters from the original Karate Kid movies. The show has become a huge hit thanks to Netflix and has successfully turned the Karate Kid franchise into one that Hollywood is looking to expand in several ways. There are plenty of plans for the Karate Kid universe to grow with new TV shows and movies thanks to Cobra Kai's success. This includes the show's creators having ideas for multiple spin-offs, which could happen after Cobra Kai Season 6 ends the series. The conclusion of the main series will mark an end to a specific time in the franchise, but prequels and spin-offs could happen featuring various characters. Cobra Kai's success has also made Sony begin developing plans for a new Karate Kid movie, which will be the first since the 2010 reboot starring Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith. Cobra Kai's final season and new Karate Kid movie are expected in 2024. The plans for the various projects connected to the universe mean 2024 will be the biggest year ever for the Karate Kid franchise. This is thanks to Cobra Kai Season 6 ending and the plans for the new Karate Kid movie. Netflix has not officially announced a release date for when subscribers will see the Sekai Teikai tournament, but it is expected that Cobra Kai's final season will begin streaming sometime in 2024. Since production does not begin until May 2023 and it's been described as the biggest season yet, it makes sense that Cobra Kai Season 6's release date will not come until 2024. On top of Cobra Kai's final season likely airing in 2024, that is also the year that Sony has tentatively scheduled the new Karate Kid movie to release in theaters. The movie was announced with the June 7, 2024 release date already attached. While it is still a mystery who will direct, write and star in the new film, Sony did tease that it is also part of the original Karate Kid franchise. Assuming the movie is not delayed, this will mean 2024 has two massive Karate Kid projects. The franchise's first TV show will come to a close, while the first movie in over a decade will also release. The Karate Kid anniversary makes 2024 even more special. In addition to including Cobra Kai Season 6 and a new Karate Kid movie, 2024 will be the biggest year ever for the franchise because it also happens to be the 40th anniversary of the Karate Kid. That piece of history makes both events even more special. It means that audiences could see Daniel and Johnny's stories come to a close four decades after their rivalry first began, giving Cobra Kai's ending additional weight to it. Meanwhile, the new Karate Kid movie marking a return to the original franchise 40 years after it began shows the long-lasting nature of the series. The original Karate Kid and Cobra Kai star Ralph Macchio responds to whether he will return as Daniel LaRusso in Sony's next Karate Kid movie. Actor Ralph Macchio, who brought Daniel LaRusso to life in the original Karate Kid films, has spoken about whether his character will return in the franchise's next movie. In September 2022, Sony surprisingly announced they were releasing a new Karate Kid movie in June 2024. While it is not yet clear what direction this new film will take, it was revealed that it would not be connected to the Cobra Kai sequel series, in which Machio returned alongside his original co-star, William Zabka. In a recent interview on the podcast, Machio spoke about whether he had been approached by Sony to appear in the upcoming film. Admitting that he is currently preoccupied with finishing his work on Cobra Kai Season 6, he revealed that he hasn't thought about the future. Nevertheless, he remains open to the possibility of returning as Daniel LaRusso if that is the direction the new film takes. How will the new Karate Kid movie connect to the original films? At this stage, it is not entirely clear whether Sony's new Karate Kid movie will take the form of another franchise reboot or serve as a continuation of the original films. Currently, either option seems fraught with a range of issues, given both the franchise's history and the current success of the Cobra Kai sequel series. With 2010's The Karate Kid reboot starring Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith already failing to resonate with viewers, the decision to try again and pursue a second reboot makes little sense. However, the idea of creating a legacy sequel that retroactively ignores the Cobra Kai events is equally problematic. Given the high praise the series has already garnered, for remaining true to the original film's spirit, 
it would be folly to create an alternate timeline that would exist in direct competition with Cobra Kai's own continuation of the Miyagi-verse. Also, Cobra Kai's enormous popularity would instantly place any alternate sequel in a difficult position. Perhaps the best idea for where the next Karate Kid movie could go comes directly from Machio himself. The actor spoke with Screen Rant about his wishes to see a prequel that explored the origins of Pat Morita's Mr. Miyagi. Not only would such a move serve to fill in the backstory of a much-beloved character, but it could also potentially avoid the challenges inherent in the other two main options. Whatever direction Sony ultimately decides, it will be interesting to see what else the future has in store for the Karate Kid franchise. A crossover between the Rocky and the Karate Kid franchises was supposed to happen, but its cancellation was a good thing as it was a terrible idea. Both franchises are still going strong today, with their popularity still growing decades after their original releases. While the Rocky and Karate Kid franchises are great on their own, a crossover between the two wouldn't have worked for a variety of reasons. The Rocky and the Karate Kid franchises almost had a crossover movie, but the film would have been a complete disaster for these reasons. In the January 2022 edition of Empire, the Karate Kid actor Ralph Macchio talked about a then-unknown crossover movie between Rocky and the Karate Kid. According to Macchio, he was approached about the project in 2012, which was set to be directed by John G. Avildsen, who directed the first Rocky and the first three Karate Kid movies. The film would have seen Milo Ventimiglia's Rocky Balboa Jr. and the daughter of Ralph Macchio's Daniel LaRusso meet up and open a dojo, which would have presumably led to a bigger story than the two franchises are known for. Things never move forward on the crossover, leading to its cancellation. One of the worst things about the Rocky and the Karate Kid crossover movie is that it would have focused on the wrong Rocky character. While Milo Ventimiglia's Rocky Balboa Jr. is great in 2006's Rocky Balboa, with the actor even returning for Creed II, he's not the character that fans want to see. Choosing to feature Rocky Balboa Jr. instead of Stallone's Rocky is an odd choice that really wouldn't have worked. While doing a Rocky crossover isn't an inherently bad idea, not having Rocky at all was a terrible decision that most likely had a hand in the film's demise. While both of these styles of fighting work well for their respective franchises, it's hard to imagine how they would work in a big crossover movie. It's possible that the film could have leaned more heavily toward one fighting style, as Daniel's daughter and Rocky Jr. were going to open up a dojo. It's not impossible to find a balance between karate and boxing, but it would have been incredibly difficult. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one. Okay.